Empire State Building. New York. Ready to get after it. I got my radio voice on. You see what she just did right there? I'm ready to get after it. <laughs> Z100, New York. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Claudia Oshra in the building right now. But is it? It's comedian. It's it's uh, author. Influencer, it's, host. It's, it's, yeah. It's all those. It's it's artists now. It is a pop star, actually. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I'm going to talk about all that. And we're going to have you take over the legendary Z100 playing from your personal playlist. Very exciting. Can Finally. We give, can we give some love to Baby Sis in the room also? Just Baby tucked Sis away in is the in the room. She's a veteran. You did amazing. Yeah, this is basically your home now. She's really no the pressure. perfect person for this because she like finds all my new music. She scopes out New Music Friday and like goes through the trash and tells okay. me what's worth my time. All right. So she's really like a music influencer. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. And I've talked about this with your sis, and I'm gonna pick your brain about this as well. Is um it's an empire. You and in the family, you guys are creating something amazing with the morning toast. Thank with you. The toasters that are uh dedicated Lit. fans and that are there to uh be a part of your life that you're sharing with us. So mm-hmm. I wanna know all about that stuff, girlfriend. The toasters are everything. Like yep. they are my life. Um it's amazing. Like we started out the show two years ago just because we didn't find that there was like morning news morning yep. shows that really related to us like we have very specific interests we love the bachelor we love yes. the housewives like yes. we love music and there's no like millennial morning show so we've kind of dubbed ourselves the millennial morning show because you can access it anywhere you can watch it on youtube you can listen as a podcast and then we're going to talk about the stuff that really matters you know God. and it's been such a long time since we've had the chance to sit in studio um a while back i, I want to dip into the history of it's rich yeah i want to dip into the rich history of Zach and Jackie getting their yes. relationship and they started just got married. Just right. Congratulations. They started the in this building. The He's the best and it wouldn't be if it weren't for you. If it weren't for me. We got together, we did an iHeartRadio like Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola podcast, podcast. Yep. and me and Ben were the guests and you hosted it and Jackie was working at iHeart at the time and so yeah. was Zach and they were both in the room just like working. But Kinda. I think, yeah, they both kind of <laughs> liked each other yeah. and then after that it just kind of snowballed. We all went out for drinks. We were like working on work stuff and they just kind of you know, it was the greatest love story. Oh, my gosh. Um, An iHeartRadio love story. That's what I was going to say. It's like, we should get t-shirts made. <laughs> yeah, we should. <laughs> right now, uh, I'm going to give control to the ever-so-talented Claudia Oshry uh, at Girl With No Job. She's going to be taking over our iHeartRadio 99 countdown here on Z100. You ready to dive headfirst into it, boo? I have so many plans for us, Maxwell. Mm. You're not going to know what hit you. I like that. I like that. Uh, the world loves what you and your sisters put together with the morning toast. Thank I mean, you. it's it's an amazing. As you said the millennial morning show. I I want to get you know your story. How did that become a thing for you all? I mean, when did you think that and know that? Hey, uh, we we want to fill this space. Yeah. That the world needs. We always kind of had joked about having a show. Yeah. Um, and then when it was like we were finally given like the time and the resources to actually build it out, we didn't want to do it like half assed We didn't want to do it as a joke. We really wanted to put together something that we could be proud of. Hell yeah. So we started streaming every morning starting like a little over two years ago and the audience started to grow you know it started out small and then these communities started to form and the toasters started labeling labeling themselves toasters and it was really like this organic come to jesus moment (laughs) when it comes together when it is so organic and speaking with your sister a couple weeks back um the the creation of each episode it really is just you guys having a blast it's us on our couch you know it's not filtered we don't edit we live stream the youtube and then all the audio gets transcribed as a podcast so we don't break we don't edit we don't filter like i've definitely said some stuff that i regret it, but that's just it. It's we're just unfiltered, and that's kind of I think what people really like about it. Sometimes you listen to content that's like so edited, so yeah. calculated. No, we just talk, we shoot the shit, we say like. Oh, sorry, it's a, that's we, why I got a beat button okay. in the studio, girl. Yeah, we say like. One million times, like, 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 because that's just who we are, and that's that's, are. that's our generation. That's how we talk. We say totally a lot. So it's just all, it's all about being yourself. What is what is the dopest part about being yourself and being accepted? For being yourself. Right. There's something incredibly scary about being yourself because yeah. what if nobody likes you? Yeah. Um, and I think that's kind of the way everyone feels. But having a platform and really just being like, I never hold back. There's nothing that I don't share. And having the community embrace us means everything because we have the nicest, literally the nicest listeners. Like they love us. They give they give feedback, you know, sometimes unwarranted, but yeah. it's always helpful. Like they really understand us. They love our business. They want to see us succeed. They want to see us grow. So like just to have to be play to that kind of audience is easy. It's you like know, the dopest thing. Right? It's so epic. It's so supportive. And it's what it always should be. And the fact that my audience is unique sucks because everyone should have that. Yeah. Um, I was kind of brainstorming. I'm thinking like, what are some of the things that I could ask Claudia about? And when we're talking toasters, there are a lot of, there's some celebs that are out there, there that are. are like, you know, they 
they bought into it and they're fans like thick and thin. I'm talking um, Jamie Lynn Spears. Yes. Do you, she have is... the, do you have the scoop on a new Zoe 101 or what? No, you know what? I don't. But <laughs> the thing is, it's like when celebrities follow me on Instagram, it's a delicate balance because I want them to continue to follow me. And yes. I only have like one or two chances to really ever slide into the DMs. Like Harry Styles had follow, has followed yeah. me for five years. <laughs> And I have never DM'd him because it's not the right time. And if you take right advantage time. of it, Thank they'll you think you're knowing. annoying. I am waiting for my moment. Maybe it's when One Direction gets back together. Like, I am waiting for the perfect time. To shoot your shot. And it hasn't happened yet. And I'm okay with that. Patience is a virtue, Maxwell. Who would you be surprised to find out? They maybe aren't just yet, but who would you like to bring into the family? Who would you? What celebrity would you like to convert into that perfect, that that level three on the toaster. Yeah. Golden toast. toast. The golden toast. There's two people, and it's very ironic because currently they're butting heads, but it's like when I think of, I'm a stan. I'm a professional stan. Yeah. And I am out here standing Taylor Swift and standing Kim, standing Kim Kardashian. Like, I really think them both separately to be just like amazing, smart, beautiful businesswomen who for don't sure. get enough credit for the business that they do. Um, It just sucks that like they really can't get along, but I'm working on bridging the gap. That, like, you could be that one. That's you my mission in life. Because it's hard for me when they're fighting. Like, I am a Taylor Swift apologist. I will defend her till the day I die. Yeah. Same for Kim Kardashian. So what I do? What do I do when the two are going after each other? I don't know. You freak out a little bit. But if they would come on the show, I think Kim actually is somewhat realistic. She does podcasts. She, I, she must know that we are out here defending her she in the streets. Knows. She has to. For so sure. I would love to get Kim on the show. All right, listen. Um, I'm gonna try to see who I can go because you know I got <laughs> indir- I got indirect co- yeah, of course, of course. Uh, contact with like JoJo Siwa <laughs> and then you know what I'm saying I'm gonna go uh, around to JoJo and I'm gonna get at you know what I'm saying I'm gonna get yeah, at yeah go through Nori. north I'm gonna go through Nori that's a good see? good the entrance way to Kim is to head head north then make your way down yes, south yes genius <laughs> <laughs> let's talk music Claudia yes. all right so it's your playlist those songs that you and the sisters get together to and are just like turning up to what what's one of them on your playlist dude first of all just before I jump in. Thank you for this honor because I oh, love I love listening to music. Sometimes on the radio, then I'll play the songs that I like really want to hear. And now I'm in control of the radio. How cool yeah, is that? How lucky for it. people listening. <laughs> First up is Taylor Swift, obviously. New song, obviously. The Archer. Brilliant, beautiful, makes me want to cry. So poetic. The lyrics are just, they're speaking to me like 2008, you know, <laughs> yeah, Taylor Swift did. And I'm so here for it. Beautiful melody, beautiful song, beautiful lyrics, beautiful woman, Taylor Swift, the Archer. She's taken over our playlist here. It's hers for the next hour. Claudia Oshry wants to hear Taylor, the Archer. It's on Z100. Claudia Oshry has taken over our iHeartRadio 9 and 9. You know, it's only fair that I say Oshry because while Margot was here, I said it a bunch. You know and what? She, she fixed it for me a little bit, so I'm just going to... People love to correct other people when they pronounce their names wrong, but like, I don't really even know the correct pronunciation of my own last name. <laughs> How can I expect someone else? Like, I say Oshry, but that's not grammatically correct. Yeah. Oshry, Oshry, whatever. I don't yeah. care. All right. As long as people are saying my name, I'm grateful. We said that same thing last time, right? <laughs> yeah. As long as we are talking about you, that's that what matters. That is so funny. <laughs> um, the Beacon Theater coming up here yes. in what, like in January. Famously maybe. played by JoJo Siwa. Oh my God. Sold out the building. Yep. You're right there too. I can't wait. I haven't slept since I booked the show oh and I don't think I'm going to sleep until afterwards. So what goes into venturing into this new, um, you know, slice of the pie? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? A, a comedian. What is, what is it like? I mean, it's my favorite part of the pie. Okay. Because it's just so fun. When I first started to do stand up, I was like, this is my worst nightmare. What if I say something that nobody thinks is funny? Oh yeah. It's Horrifying. Anxiety. But again, I have the best fans. So they just show up and laugh. And it's just like a fun, warm environment. And the show has grown so much, like from comedy clubs to theaters. And now we've sold out the beacon. And it's just, it's everything. It's so much fun. It's a lot of hard work. Life on the road can be very lonely. But thank God Margot comes with me because she is literally like my life raft. (laughs) Um, It's the best. Like I am obsessed with calling myself a comedian. Being able to go around the globe now and to, you know, really build that that one on one relationship with your your fans. Meeting them in person. That's got to be one of the coolest things. Did you? ever, you know, imagine, I know you probably put it in motion that you wanted it to grow mm-hmm. to this level, but did you ever imagine that there would be places in, you know, Virginia, in Alabama? Oh my God, and, it's you know, so crazy to go to these places I've never been to and yeah. see people like that know who I am. It's shocking and it'll never, I'll never not be obsessed with it. Yep. Um, but my, my five year goal was always like, we're going to play the beacon in five years. We're going to play the beacon in five years. I have a note on my phone of always like the things I want to accomplish and the beacon was number one. And it's like, we did it in a year and a half and I just... I'm I'm just you know what's so really grateful cool that I'm finding is that there is so much in, and I don't want to say calculation because that's you know there's a bet but I mean there's so Negative. much planning that goes into yeah. growing a brand and in be, becoming the the amazing uh, I'm gonna use this word again empire that you and the family are growing but also the uh, spontaneity that just goes into who you are and the show totally I mean to have that juxtaposition is really really kind of uh, it's it's refreshing to know that there is some planning and there were some yeah. goals set some of it is just really like. 
decided to do something. One day I wanted to be a DJ. I started DJing. It wasn't yeah. very popular, but still, there's a lot of spontaneity to my yeah. business. You gotta and, try it. Yeah, of course. Maybe I was gonna be the next Paris Hilton. Who knows? Who knows? Life and God We're had other talk plans. About that in a little bit. Don't <laughs> <Yeah>. worry. <laughs> but like. Some of it is really like, I really wanted this chore to be not something I did once. Like, I want to have yeah. a very long career and prosperous career of playing venues, meeting people, doing comedy. And that takes a little bit more planning. Yeah. Yeah. You got to definitely have some uh, some direction in doing that. But you're doing it well, damn it. Thank you. Doing it well. Um, let me see. There's more music right there. You got your playlist dialed up on your phone. What I is do. it that you want to hear, girl? I am also a BB Rexa stan. Oh, let me tell you why. God. Because she doesn't get enough credit for She chooses the best collabs. She has the best music. She is so vocally talented. We saw her perform at a private event. She yeah. was so cool, so nice. We did meet and greet afterwards. Literally the nicest girl I'm ever. Goosebumps hearing you say She's that. so cool. And then her music just speaks for itself. So this collab yes. she has with the Chainsmokers, Call You Mine. Yeah. Everything the Chainsmokers make is amazing. But this is just like a really good song. Dude. And nobody gets enough credit these days for just making like good music, like universally good music. Um, I, I hope you all are giving her the credit for coming at me with a fire ass playlist so far. <laughs> Damn, man. And Girl with No Job, a.k.a. Claudia Oshara, she's here taking over your iHeartRadio 9 at 9 on the world famous Z100. Um, so I've been watching recently, and a little help from my, my girl Allie in the in the building here. <laughs> you you decided to boycott The Bachelorette this year. But I did. You, you picked up Bachelor in Paradise. Last night. I picked it up, yeah. Yeah, so like, all right, um, why why just this particular boycott of this particular season? And and are you kicking yourself because it was I'm not. so freaking good? Yeah, please. That's what I hear. But like they say that every year. I'm not kicking myself. It was no shade to Hannah. It was yeah. just really like the network takes advantage of people's time. Like having a show on for two hours a night, twice a week. That's dedication. That is chutzpah. That's yeah. what me and my people call chutzpah dick, okay? <laughs> not cool. So it's like I have a full-time job. I have a family. Like I can't commit four hours a week and then also multiple hours after that I to like recap, that. talk about my family. Yeah. I just needed a break and they were okay. Getting, they don't listen to the audience. It's like everyone's like, we want Peter to be the bachelor. We want Peter. All of a sudden they give us Ari. Yeah. It's like, listen to the audience. As a fan, I feel like I have no say in in what happens. At, and it's a show about the fans. And it's it's a reality show. Like I feel like it's real. So I just took a break. I took I watched some of Colton's season, not a bunch, and then none of Hannah's season. And I love Hannah. I follow her on Instagram. Yeah, for sure. It was no shade to her. I just like had really had enough. And I got my Mondays back and I spent time with my dog, and it was really good for my mental health. Yeah, you, you needed that. Yeah, Theo I needed, needed some mommy time. Yeah, he was missing out. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. I have committed so much time now that I think about it to these it's two disgusting. hour episodes. And it's not even the two hours. Because first of all, the two hour show is made up of like 30 minutes of content with, yeah, a, million with a million commercials. And then it's like you have to follow everyone on Instagram and follow with the drama and then recap with your friends. It's just like it never ends. It takes up your whole week. So what is it about Bachelor in Paradise that you're... I mean, it's a much better to... show. There it's like go. the formula is more interesting. Like there's a lot we're more not ratchet to me. I love it. A lot it. more ratchet. We're mm. not focused on just one relationship for two hours. That's boring. It's two hours with... Tons of crazy people. It's just a much better show. It's a much better formula. They they bring people back from old seasons that I like yeah. who never got the chance. Like, Ben Z was such a great guy on Caitlyn's season, and he didn't get any time. But then he thrived on Paradise. It's nice to see people thrive. Here's a little switch. If there was one reality-based show that you and your sisters could could be on or you would like the casting directors to come to, which maybe they have several mm -hmm. times, and you've had to deny some stuff, uh, what would be that one that you would you would like to um, you would like to be? Or would it be just creating your own, damn it. No, I don't think that a reality show is necessarily what I want to do. Okay. But if obviously given the opportunity to become a cast member on The Real Housewives of New York, I would not pass it up, seeing as I am real and yeah. I am a wife yeah. and I do live in New York. So uh. I, I do think it could be good bringing the, like, the millennial audience. Yes. I, that's definitely, that's also on my list of things to accomplish in the next five years. Oh, no, because, well, here's the one thing, though. I, man, I would have to duck and dodge the cameras at, ne at next time we're at Marquee. Because <laughs> no. I, get a little, I get a little bit too wasted you for, know what? for Bravo to, to document. I co totally agree. I definitely, <laughs> I'm a party girl. And Bravo would have to, like, shut down the cameras at 11 p.m. Because yeah. I got a night. I got somewhere to go. I got to oh, meet up man. with Maxwell. It's all about your playlist, Claudia. What's another song that uh, that you're just vibing to right now? I'm a Jonas Brothers stan. Their album is so good. I'm going to see them at Madison Can't Square wait Garden. For their tour, right? The nicest, coolest, hottest guys. Like 13 year old me is dying, but also 25 year old me. For like sure. we're we're all hanging out. Yeah. Um, their album's so good. Roller Coaster is the best song. I was really surprised they didn't make it the first single, but I'm okay with that. Things yeah. take time. So Roller Coaster by the Jonas Brothers. There it is. I mean, gosh. Uh, you, I, listen, I'm concerned for my job, y'all. Uh, not that she's coming for it, but she's doing a damn good job. It's Claudia. She wants to hear Roller Coaster. It's the Jonas Brothers on Z100. You got the camera on, Claudia. Uh, girl with no job. What went into the name, you know, with you and Ben and, and the boy with no job and pup? You know, what was it that initially drew you to that handle that now has 
uh, millions on Insta, well, you know, Twitter. What, it's not as poetic it? as one might think. I was no. fired from my job and I had no job. And I had started this blog before, uh, just kind of documenting the trials and tribulations of being an intern in New York when I was yeah. in college. And it was called Girl with a Job. But like I said, I got fired. So got fired, I just yeah. changed it to Girl just with No Job. That right there. But I think the name had a lot to do with like the growth because it's an interest. Like the name catches your ear, and yes. I think a lot of people are related to it. My my fellow unemployed girls. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't know. It ended up really working out. Being so relatable, that's another thing that again, it's it's a that, that pin in what the the brand is. Um, and I did kind of ask this question a little bit ago, but I mean, what does it mean to you to just? be able to be oneself yeah. and, you know, and just to be able to, you know, just go out there, no frills um, and, you know, sometimes make mistakes, yeah. sometimes get it right, yep. but still stay in true in your heart. How does that feel to be able to walk that straight line of this is who I am? I mean, I sleep peacefully at Hell night yeah. knowing that like, I'm really just trying to, I'm not, what we're doing here is not that serious. Like I'm really yeah. just trying to make people laugh. Yeah. And that's like a, a, a commodity these days because the world is falling apart yeah. and I just want people to watch my my live show or come to come to tour and just like not think about all the awful things going on and just like sit and laugh and have a good time so I've made peace with that but being yourself and being really vulnerable online is a blessing and a curse because it opens me up to like really connect with with my followers and like be relatable but you know people can take advantage of that and like you yeah. open yourself up to people making fun of you people saying mean things to you but like I'm really trying to rise above but it is not easy Maxwell. It's tough. Yeah it's tough. Uh, the fact that you have your family around you though everything i mean yeah that's gosh you said it in one word be able to uh see your husband be mm -hmm. able to see uh your sisters um yeah. you know your, your uh, brothers-in-law yeah be a part of it all it's uh, amazing yeah uh, gosh i mean elaborate on that how important is it to have that that uh that core nucleus of people who just are are there for you no matter what it's everything and i don't think that i would really even be in this line of work if i didn't have such a strong system of people around yeah. me like I'll never forget when I was blogging in like 2011 the first mean comment I ever got mm. because it like I couldn't believe it it was first of all it was such a mean like creative comment uh, like that I whatever I don't even want to say yeah. it. but it was so mean and I was like I locked myself in my room and I was like I don't think this world is for me <laughs> and all my sisters were like they really like they didn't coddle me they're like are you kidding yeah. like it's one thing you get tons of positive comments you only focus on the negative one like get yourself back to, like get your shit together yeah so it, if it weren't for them I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing and I wouldn't be doing it nearly as good because they do everything with me. They, they're everything. Yeah. I, I can't say any other word besides everything. Yeah. No, I mean, get it tatted on your neck. Like yeah, you, right. you know what I'm saying? On no, my forehead. No, I don't do that on the forehead. <laughs> yeah. Posty face. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I got to ask this. I mean, family is, is everything, but sometimes they get on your nerves. Yeah. Which one of those knuckleheads do you sometimes just want to not respond to or leave on red? You know what? I am actually trying to get better at the not responding thing. Like if you ask Margo, <laughs> she texts me and I'm just like, okay, LOL. Yeah. I just, just, it's for someone who's on my phone so much. I just don't have the patience to respond to people's text messages. I read it, I understood it, yeah. and I got it. And you I, know, do you need a paragraph back? <laughs> so I need to work on that because I don't respond to anyone. So if you've texted me in the last year and I haven't responded, like you ain't special. Yeah, it's just part of it. It's just. I so don't, is it safe to say, Margo, she's she's the worst texter of the family? Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. There it is from the peanut gallery. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Another song on Claudia's playlist. What are you rocking with, girlfriend? I wouldn't be the self promoting piece of garbage that I am if I weren't out here shelling my own song. Yes. Toast by Claudia Ashray. People are saying it's a song of the summer. Um, people are saying it's going to be on Billboard number one longer than Lil Nas and yeah. Billy Ray. But that's just what people are saying. That's what they're saying. Yeah. I mean, yeah, when people say stuff like that, you got to believe them. You got to listen. Especially when it's multiple people. <laughs> right. And especially when it's on the world famous Z100. Exactly. Right? We're going to play the song. We're going to come back and talk about it. And, um, I mean, maybe remix burr, 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 <laughs> with somebody who you mentioned in this hour. I don't know. We're going to get there. But right here. This is the first time. You know what? You do the honors. Introduce your song on Z100, girlfriend. You're about to listen to a song that's going to change your life. It's really fun. Dance, get a drink, grab your girlfriends, grab your boyfriends, and just listen to Toast by Claudia Ashray. Hearing your song on Z100. Well, first off, hearing this song, it's completion and being done with this you birthed the baby. I know. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a labor of love. It is, yeah. And you did an epidural. Yeah. It you know took a long saying? time, actually. I, I'm i not really a perfectionist, but I feel like I know good music, and I listen to a couple different versions of the song, and I'm like, no, it's not there yet. Yeah. Because I love to sing. I'm not by any means a professional singer. I just really love music, and I mm -hmm. love to sing, and I perform live, and I sing live, so like, why not sing my own song? And then from a business perspective, it's really hard to use copyrighted music in your own content. Yes. So I was like, you know what? I want to own a song. Just make it. And I just did it to be fun, but I didn't want it to be a joke. Like, I actually wanted it to be a good song. So I was listening and listening, and I finally got it to a place where I released it a month late. But I was—I yeah. didn't care. I'd rather release it late than something I wasn't proud of. I heard.
heard the story a couple weeks back. Your sis was saying that they're, you know, listening to him and making sure that it felt right, you know, hearing yeah. the different versions. Um, and it's hard to write. It's and difficult. I don't know how to make music. I'm yeah. not a music maker. Self taught. You know, Self-taught. I learned cool on YouTube. <laughs> how dope. Well, I mean, there are so many people whose careers have started yeah. by watching videos on how to produce songs and just seeing videos from other people. How cool is it to to be self-made? I mean, by no means did I write or produce a song no. myself. Felipe, no. my songwriter, was everything and found an amazing producer, Sean. Um, but I feel like I was definitely like a backseat driver, like oh, yeah. really being like, no, put it there, copy and paste, you know, whatever yeah, yeah. musician lingo is. Yeah. Um, people, but it's really people, cool. People. <laughs> <laughs> it's really fun. Like people People, like, I don't take myself too seriously, and I wasn't really just, I'm not trying to be the next Ariana Grande. Like, I know she's probably shaking in her boots listening to the yeah, song. Yeah. I just, like, really love music, and I wanted it to be fun, and I wanted to have a song that I could be really proud of, and I am. Now, uh, there, you know, there's a there's a, a friendly person in your life. Uh, you know, she's an heiress. Uh, yes. She's a, a world-renowned DJ now. Um, businesswoman. You know, yeah, businesswoman. Um, Paris Hilton. Yeah. How, how dope would it be to get her to like flip it flip it up a little bit? Little, so little I actually together. texted her and I was like, you know what? I actually think you might like this song if you want to remix it. She's so busy. Like she DJs yeah. 300 days a year. She was just at Tomorrowland. I mean, when I met her, I was like shocked at how smart she was. She's the yeah. smartest woman. And I just, I said to her, she was like, I'm like, are you down? She's like, yeah, send it to me. And hopefully we'll see. We'll see. Maybe, she, listen, if you don't reply back to texts and emails super quick, you know what I'm saying? How can I expect Happy Paris Hilton to? But when she does, yo. I know. Yeah. She, she She's epic. I love her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm digging that. Um, what I want to do before we uh, get you off to, because uh, you got a bajillion things going on, man. And I'm, I'm really excited and so, so proud to be able to call you all friends. Yeah. For, same. you know, something that started just as a fun podcast. We hit it off so well that You're day. You're just a cool guy. All. I feel nah, like everyone me. you meet, like, loves you. No, well, thank What's you not to that? like? Thank you. And for you got that. a great radio voice. I try. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to take my job. You have a, you have a dope radio voice also. But thank what you. I want to do to, uh, you know, kind of wrap my arms around this whole thing is is just kind of say, like, um, for for fans of yours or for people who look look up to you and and really um, you know admire your hustle spirit, how proud are you of what you have been able to accomplish with with your family again? Yeah, I mean I'm so thirsty, so I'm proud, but like it's not enough, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's like I got to keep going. I'm only 25. Yeah. <laughs> What's next? <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna wrap up the tour. Yeah. Um, in January at the Beacon, which is amazing. You can get tickets to the tour at girlwithanojob.com. We're hitting LA, San Francisco, Las Vegas. Um. I don't know. You know, the, the tough thing about this industry is like it shifts so much yeah. that you really can't plan more than like a year in advance. Yeah. So we'll see where the world takes me. Well, I know I'm going to run into you, uh, if not another ratchet night at somewhere Marquee. in the club at Marquee, turning up. Shout out to Schwartz. <laughs> you take care of us every time we're there, man. Just want to throw that out there. But also, uh, I'm sure I'm going to run into you guys. Jingle Ball. We got, oh, yes. uh, you know, Summer Bash popping off. I mean, you're you're literally a part of the family. And I, I live wanna, for a jingle ball. I want to extend that to you and to the entire family. Like, you guys, whatever you need, you know, just a, a text message away. I'll respond faster I will take you. advantage of that yeah. for free tickets. Thank you. <laughs> Backstage passes at Jingle Ball, done. <laughs> done. I'm there. <laughs> the Morning Toast is a show. I don't even want to just call it a podcast. It's a show. It's a. It's an entity. It's something that you need to live. So shout out to all the toasters that are tuning yes. in. Yes. Thank you to you, to uh, your sister, your husband, your, your brother, the, the entire family. Thank, Thank you to you, it. Maxwell. I'm trying. Give us that. It's Maxwell's house. Z100, New York. From the top of the M.